Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We are your hosts. I'm Dana Pereira. And this is Brimstone, and it's going to be a wicked awesome episode. A wicked, a wicked awesome episode. Wicked. Is wicked. that like a, a Boston thing? A wicked awesome. Uh, yeah. Well, that's, that was an Irish thing, but yeah. it was a bad Irish thing. <laughs> I'm just doing bad voices right now. So, so forget anything I'm saying and just do, move forward. Do an Irish man trying Irishman. to be with a Boston accent. An Irishman with a Boston accent? The, an Irishman. I, I can't I can't I don't I'm not a good I'm not good at uh, the Boston act. Yeah, what is it? I, car, I'm, trying, your car. I'm trying to do it with the car. <laughs> if you're taking the car out to the road, uh, you know, take take the car out far, uh, you know, and pass the bar. Uh, but don't pass the bar because you need to stop and get some beer. You know, get some beer in here. You know, and that's what that'd be good. Uh, Nailed like, it. I, yeah, no, Nailed I, it. I, it was I like sucked. Lucky Charms went to a <laughs> fucking Celtics game. Nailed I, it. <laughs> I need to practice my accents, uh, but I don't normally do the accent thing. So, you know, it is what it is. I did. I did for for Donut Baby. I did the English uh, bad English accent on purpose. It's like the Donut Babies, you know, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the world of the Donut Baby and blah, 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 blah. You know, I but uh, yeah. Am- awful at accents like the only thing it's just like the dingo ate your baby you know like that's the The dingo (laughs) ate your baby oh no oh that's awful i don't know man they're always trying to encourage it in my improv class and i'm like listen i got one accent and it's the one you're listening to right now (laughs) (laughs) what is it i got one look one is that what one look or what's that 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 big thing? You know, you know what I'm talking about, um, right? I think it's like two looks, though, isn't it? It's like I either Maybe. look like a supermodel or a homeless That's woman. <laughs> That's it. That's it. I got two looks, two looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah, I uh, I think we both need to, you know, work on our accents mm. a little bit. <laughs> mm, for sure. I do the different voices. I don't I don't normally do those accents. If they yeah. asked me to do the accent, then I would have to learn the accent or I'd work on it and, and get better at it. I should probably do it in a little bit of spare time that I have anyway, but I just don't. Um, but, you know, I guess going to Boston, you know, uh-huh. uh, yeah, I mean, I just have to listen to it a little bit and I get it. Um, but, you yeah. know, there's a lot of these little nuances and so forth. I mean, German, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, just sound angry. You don't even have to say anything that's, you know, means anything. You just, you just have have to 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 furrow your brow and talk real <laughs> loud. <laughs> I can do a Yiddish guy, you know, all I got to do is do something like this. And I Kavalt, you got to get a Jewish person. And, you know, ah, you know, um, you know, it's, I could, you know, hey, Javato, how you doing? You know, you could do a Spanish guy. I listen, I don't want to get canceled, but, you know, I can do a lot of different things, um, you know. It's yeah, but other you know crazy accents. I don't know. I could do an Indian accent. I don't want to get canceled. Yeah, don't. Um, you will get you know, canceled for sure. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. I you know I do it with love. I don't do it with hate. I used to love the whole uh, Apu. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Uh, yeah. What do you call it? Like, but I and I I actually had that on um on a reel at one point. Um, I did like uh, an Apu spinoff and uh, for the voice reel, and a bunch of my friends were like. It's freaking fantastic, but you need to take it off because yeah. it's, it's it's looked fr- it's looked down to, it's looked down upon yeah. now, you know. Yeah. Because if if you're if you're white, you should be doing white roles. If you're black, you should be doing black roles. If you, even though I've played Cultural black guys, appropriation. I, get I play it. black I get guys it. a ton of times. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I'm like, you know, especially in Q, I, for Q and E productions who are black. You know what do you call? Well, Quan is black and Erica is Hispanic. But what do you call it? And they they have me playing black guys every time I do something with them, except for the one time I did the uh, what do you call it, the FedEx package? And I was like, oh, <laughs> in a little, tiny, little tiny voice. Said, Please may I have some more, you know, like it was really funny. Please keep me, Papa. You know, something like oh, that. I don't remember. 
it was yeah it was like a little fedex package you said a little tiny package and i was like this could go several ways right now (laughs) (laughs) it was a fedex package thank you very much and it was like i guess they were they were doing um where the the you know you're supposed to get a package and they disappear forever. And uh-huh. uh, and, and this is this is possibly why or something like that. And, then, you know, the he, the guy takes the package out of the truck and he brings it up to the door. And what do you call in the, the package, which is funny, it has a brimstone logo on the package and uh, the little face. And it's like, please don't leave me, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to do a spinoff of that, except it's now it's the airport luggage that oh, geez. everybody it's just huge fiasco with the whole world just losing their luggage on vacation yeah yeah what do you call it craziness what do you call it um what do you call it uh yeah i i uh I, the last time i was in san diego for san diego comic-con um what do you call it the um my my all the luggage for myself and all our people everything was lost uh, everything was lost uh, also by the way anybody who is going to san diego comic-con um i very well might not be there i was supposed to be there signing um some things are going on so i might not be able to go that's why i have not made any arrangements yet because obviously if i can't go then it's easier to just not make the arrangements yeah. um which i'll explain to you after the show which you know, i think you know what's going on so i do yeah I- I am going to Comic-Con and this is the first year that I'm going. I'm not going as a signer. I'm going as a guest. Um, I've never been to it before. And I was so excited. I bought my tickets in, I don't know, 2019 for 2020. And obviously everything got canceled and all of that fun stuff. And I'm just a different person now than I was a few years ago. Now I have four days of Comic-Con and I'm like, oh my God. Am I going to be able to handle four days of all those people? I don't know if I can do it. No, as okay. So as a as a guest, okay, um, it's it's a bitch enough, but at least you're going in through different areas where you're going in as on the fan side. Forget about it. Um, let me let me if you're definitely going, what do you call it? I got four days of it. So I know that I I know that you were. You were, I know you were expecting me to be coming out to see, yeah. to see you. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you call it? But um, let me call. Uh, I'm going to message one of my people to see if I can get you in the back way. So this way you don't have to go through the, the whole rigmarole. I can't promise yeah. it, but let me let me make the call. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I'll have you go through the celebrity entrance. So this way you don't have to be uh, uh, worried. But, you know, again, if I was there, it'd be easy. Um, but we know the situation. So anyway, I'm just in waiting mode, people. That's what it is. I can't say anything yet because we don't know what's happening. Um, are we ready to start day or I am ready? We got some good ones this week. So, OK, uh, our first one says I found out that my best friend is cheating on her fiance. <gasps> uh... I'm really pissed. He is a great guy and she's totally ruining it. And I'm so mad at her. I'm not sure if I should tell him or not. I want to, but I know it will ruin my friendship. And also I run the chance that he doesn't believe me and I ruin the friendship. That's in there twice. Uh, I'm so mad at her for doing this to me. Wow. 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 Um, I mean, she's not necessarily doing it to you. She's doing it to him. And yeah. she's just putting you in an awkward position. That's Bad the situation. awkward position. I understand. Um yeah. And, you know, like, listen, I know I've been in that awkward position before and uh, it isn't fun and it is Mm-mm. what it is. Um, but, you know, like, what do you do? Um, listen, just because just because you're you want to I, listen, I don't want to tell you to tell him or not tell him. Right. I, I'm I'm going to I'm going to steer clear of this uh, advice thing here because well, that could be very damaging in many different ways i um, definitely had a situation arise where um somebody had reached out to me and they said hey your friend's fiance is messaging me asking me for dirty pictures and doing stuff like that and they were supposed to be getting married in like a few months and uh-huh. i had to reach out to the girl and tell her like, hey, by the way, your fiance is messaging this person and being very inappropriate and like super not OK. Uh, and they're married and have twins now. So clearly what I said to her, <laughs> she did not like she was upset about it. It 
but it didn't stop her from marrying that person. So wonder what he said to talk his way out. I like, well, I got cold feet and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I was thinking that you're the last other woman, the last woman that I'll ever sleep with. And uh-huh. I got scared and, you know, people make mistakes and blah, blah, blah. Come on, man. But I can see the fear and why they this person is like, I'm not sure if I should say anything or not, because it could end up working against you sometimes by being the person that calls it out. Even though that's the right thing to do, that's a hard situation to be in. I'd be pissed about it, too. And do you really I mean, do you really want the friendship with somebody who's being, you know, she's cheating on uh, cheating on the fiance? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, Do you really want to be with somebody like that? Because they're going to wrong the person that they're supposedly in love with. You know what I mean? Quote, unquote, big old air quotes there. Uh You know, like um, who's to say they're not going to do something to you? You know, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. That's. Trust, man, trust like and, and I have I've have it in my Brimism book. I've spoken about it numerous times. You know, it feels like it takes a lifetime to earn that trust, but mm-hmm. a millisecond to lose it. You know what I mean? So like yeah. I, I wouldn't I me personally, I'd either steer clear. I'd remove myself from the situation altogether um, or maybe say something. I don't know. I don't quick, know. quick, shameless plug here, guys. If you're not already go to TikTok and follow Brim. He does some readings out of his Brimism books Please. and they are fantastic. So go. So what sweet. are you on TikTok, Brim? At the real Brimstone. And I and and um, it's a very humble start there. I've been trying to get on the algorithm, but, um, you know, it is what it is. If you guys follow me, that's great. I appreciate it. But like like yeah. the stuff and people comment. are watching it, but nobody's <laughs> like I, I hate that. It's like. You know, it, I appreciate the views. I really do. And I appreciate the follows, but I also appreciate the likes. Like liking yeah. it helps you get into the algorithms mm-hmm. and helps more people see it. And people don't necessarily realize that. And, you know, it's the same thing with Instagram. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I'll get on videos like thousands of views, uh, then like a thousand, two thousand likes, and then maybe a hundred comments. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, but give me, talk to me. I want to hear from you, you know? Yeah. So anyway, you feel the same way. Yeah, absolutely. I love the interaction. So if you guys are on social media with us, uh, go ahead, interact with us. We like to do that. But anyways, yes. quick, quick, shameless plug that I wanted to give appreciate you. It. I appreciate <laughs> it. And yours, yours is at that trophy wife. Trophy wife, Dana. Trophy wife, Dana. On Because yeah. there's a couple of different versions of your your thing. So I'm sorry. Yes. That's yes. Okay. Trophy wife, Dana. There it is. Yeah, I am. I <laughs> I suck at this anyway. What do you call it? Um, I, I, I listen. I, I think I'm I'm about done with this this cheating uh, cheating fiend over here. Yeah, um, sorry, or, my friends I, like that. Here's the other question. This this is a different question. She's saying how great of a guy he is maybe, and she's ruining it. Is this? Are you interested in your friend's fiance? Little crushy crush might be going on there. Uh, you know, maybe you're pissed off because he's a nice guy, and you think that well, you could be with this guy, but um, what do you call it? But this one is with him, and she's ruining it. Um, so it could go either way there. Maybe, okay. maybe um, you know, let us know. I don't know. Right back in. Right back yeah, in. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> the drama. Oh, the yes. drama. The okay. Drama. So the next writer says. My husband forgot that the dog camera was on while we were at work. I totally watched him take the whole day off of work and lounge with the dog. When I came home, I asked him how his day was, and he made up a whole story about how stressful work was. I didn't say anything. I'll play the long game with this one. Oh, first of all, why do you feel the need to lie? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? I'd be like. I was home. I didn't feel like going in today. I didn't feel like going. I didn't want to go into the studio. I, you know, if you're, if you're supposed to be on set, you have no choice but to be on set. Otherwise right. you're losing your, your position. But like, you know, if I don't want to go into the studio and, 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 and do any kind of grindhouse work or brimstone work, that's my prerogative. I'm my own boss. I could do whatever the hell I want to do. Yeah. But I'm going to tell Danielle if she asks me, what'd you do today? I'd be like, I sat at home. Mm-hmm. I vegged out and I watched Friends. I yeah. took a mental health day. Yeah. 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 You know, like, um, you know, like I, I did. Uh, I was so crazy the other day, like absolutely from from morning to night. I was up and out by like 730 and I'm normally not up and out by 730, but I had mm-hmm. to go and get Alex, um, my engineer, you know, for people who don't know. Um, yeah. And uh, what do you call it? And then I had all day working in studio because I had so many different things to get done. And then I had to do a podcast 101 
at night. Um, and then I was home real late. And then by the time I got home, Dana, I knocked the F out. So what do you call it? <laughs> so on Wednesday, what do you call that was on Tuesday on Wednesday um, in the middle of the day, I w- had done a bunch of different things. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going and getting myself a massage. And yeah. uh, I went to the, the you know, the, the massage place and I was like, I'll take an hour, please. Thank you mm-hmm. very much. And I went in and I got a massage. Nice. I'm not, you know, I needed that mental health time, you Hell know, yeah. because my brain was fried because, again, people don't realize how much goes into stuff like this mm-hmm. and how much stuff goes into entertainment. They think it's all fun and games. But, you know, at the end of the day, I have a lot of stress waiting on callbacks, waiting on waiting on things, finding things out that I can't talk about for months. You know what I mean? Or so weeks. much behind the scenes stuff. There's so yeah. much behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. You know, what's interesting with this one is the dog camera is a dangerous thing to forget about in your house. Yeah. I, I mean, but what is, what is a dog camera? I mean, like, it's I don't even know what that a is camera that surveils your dog. And sometimes you can talk through it. Like if your dog is a dog that has separation anxiety, you just hit a button and you can talk to it. They also have dog cameras where you can hit a button and release a treat. So it will. Yeah, <laughs> it's all hooked up. But that is a dangerous thing to forget about that. You know, you have a dog camera. You know, I, I, uh. I, I wouldn't want to forget about that because who I mean, you could be walking through the house, picking your nose or something. And your wife is at work like, guys, look at my husband just digging for gold. Mm-hmm. I, what do you call it? I, I have cameras all around inside and outside my house. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. So, you know, everything is it's like, you know, the fortress of solitude there. And, um, you know, essentially, you know, we could see wherever, whenever. If if you're coming and going or whatever, or you're sitting around or whatever, you see everything. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. you know, like we we make sure that everything. You know, if we want it off, we have it off. You know, but um, you know, but for the most part, for the most time, that more often than not, it is on. <laughs> um, it was funny because last night I was I I haven't even checked, uh, but last night so I bought these fun little story. I bought these um, little flowers. It was like uh, not carnations, um, uh, impatience, right? Mm -hmm. Different, nice, pretty, you know, impatience. And it was in a little um, um, uh, thing that had little sandaled feet in it. What do you call it? It was like two little pink thong, uh, you know, like the, the like you know what I'm flops? talking about? Lip flop, foot flops. Yeah. And that's like, that's what, you know, they're sitting in and it's, it's really, Cute and stupid looking all at once. Right. But what do you call so Danielle and Haley, my little one, what do you call it? Um, we're, we're both going, oh, my God, it's so ugly. We were talking about how <laughs> ugly that was last year and blah, blah, blah. And of course, you get it. I'm like, OK, shut up. I'm getting it. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. And what and it's going in. So I what do you call I put it in a couple different places. They complained everywhere I put it. So I put it then where I have a couple of hanging plants. Uh-huh. So there's a little area that I have some hanging plants and it needs a little color over there anyway. So I put, you know, so because it's all green, mm-hmm. you know, so I put the, the color in there and, you know, here are those the little the flip flops. So Danielle yeah. last night, uh, we were watching Only Murders in the Building, the second season. Uh, great, great show, by the way, if anybody hasn't watched it. Um, what do you call it? We So she walks to take the dog outside and all of a sudden you hear go, ah! you know, and I'm like, what the hell was wrong? And I go running to go make sure she's okay. And she's like, you need to move those things, blah, blah, blah. Oh. She scared. She saw the two little feet uh, with the, you know, and I'm going, you got scared. I said, what is the, the intruder two feet tall? I said, yeah. nobody, nobody in, 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 can get into, if somebody gets in here, we're going to see it right away. You know, all that, first of all, forget about all the big, you know, floodlights that pop on with by yeah. motion. I said, but, all the video cameras and the night cameras and all that stuff. I'm like, you would, we would have known if somebody was there and she's like, I don't care. You need to get rid of that. Get I'm like, I'm not getting rid of it. And if you get scared, it's on your own. You're on, it's your own fault. I said, what? I said, what is it like a, a little person coming to kill you? You know, I'm like, she's like, yes. I'm like, okay. Fine. Like from the movie Leprechaun. I have yeah. a feeling that those might end up broken somehow. Like you might end up seeing them smashed on the ground. Like, oops, they fell. A cat knocked them over or a squirrel or something. Absolutely not. Here, look here. Can you, can you see them? Uh, Oh yeah. So so anybody, (laughs) 
So anybody, anybody who is watching the video version, uh, you know, on YouTube and uh, what do you call it or my site or, or the Dirty Little Secret site, we have the videos on our site or no? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have them. OK, so what do you call it? Uh, then you can actually see the what they look like. But um, That's yeah, so it, funny. <laughs> those do look like kind of realistic, though. I, I, I can see how she might have like without letting her brain catch up. Could yeah. have been like, oh, shit, what is going on there? And I also since we're talking about my backyard right this second, I, I thought we have a new visitor. Can you see? Oh. We have a new visitor. I didn't realize that we we they kept saying we keep hearing stuff going on in the pond. And I'm like, you hearing things in the pond. What do you call it? Like, what are you hearing? By the way, yes, it's green because it's algae. And I you can't well, get rid course. of it that's unless what, you're putting all the stuff in. But but that's, you know. but that's what ponds are for. That's what they eat yeah. and stuff. Anyways. Exactly. So, exactly. I yeah. still want everybody to go. Oh, it's a green pond. What's wrong with you? No, it's that's the natural ponds are supposed pond. to be green. <laughs> um, but they kept hearing the, the, the blink, you know, in, in uh -huh. the water. And I'm like, that's nah, one of the big fish, you know, because they're, they're just jumping up and grabbing something and going back down. Um, but it turns out I saw him today. I go, we have a frog again. This is beautiful. You know, I don't know. I was happy. It made me happy. Anyway. I used to have goldfish that I would win at the fair and we had a pond in our front yard. And so yep. we would take the goldfish from the fair and we would put them into the pond. Those fuckers grew huge. Yep. They were yep. huge. We this called them Shamu. Carp. Yeah. <laughs> Shamu. Yeah. yeah. They were so big. That's great. Yeah. I love, 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 love. I, I'd rather go and save because I used to do the koi thing. I used uh -huh. to do the koi thing, but one, they're ridiculously expensive. And then raccoons sometimes will get to them or, uh, you know, I don't know if you have raccoons by you, but, you know, the animals mm -hmm. get to them. Yeah. And uh, what do you call it? And they're ridiculously expensive. And I had a couple of occasions where like a neighbor's uh, tree, you know, they're the you know, during the fall, all the stuff came down, suffocated my fish. You know what I mean? And oh, like, I, like, oh, yeah, it was awful. And, um, you know, and then a really big storm happened and they came up and out of you know, even though I have the big rocks that came up and out of the, the pond and mm -hmm. died, you know what I mean? So, you know, I was like, you know what? I'd rather save, you know, the feeder fish that they pay. You're paying 20 cents, 30 cents for them. You get some beautiful fish that have beautiful colors and everything. Yeah. And they don't get to be killed as feeder fish and they get to have a home. And if they die, well, they were going to get killed and eaten anyway. Yeah. So, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So circle of life, <laughs> circle of life. But anyway, um, shame on your husband for feeling that he has to lie again. You know, as Dana and I preach all the time, um, you know, communication is key. If you can't communicate, then you probably should not be in a relationship. And, um, you know, if he was playing hooky, then he should have told you that he was playing hooky. Right. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. End there the are definite times where I tell my husband, I'm like, listen, you're going to come home and there's going to be a sink full of dishes because I was tired today and I couldn't get to them. I will get to them later. <laughs> exactly. And he's always like, okay, that's fine. Whatever. So craziness, craziness. All right. What do you call it? Uh, shall we move on? Yes. This one says every time I meet a girl at the bar that wants my number, I give them my ex-girlfriend's number to remind her how wanted I am. She gets really mad, but it keeps her texting me a few times a month. <laughs> OK, well, first and foremost, that's kind of stupid because now you just, uh, you know, giving a girl that you could be hanging out with um, somebody else's number. So you, right. who's, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face. You that's are first and blocking your damn self there. <laughs> dumb, just dumb. That's first of all. Second of all, um, what do you call it like? Are you that hard up over the, the, the ex that, you mm -hmm. know, you want her to remind, you know, them of you? And then uh, also, you know, like, I don't see why she would care if she's the one that broke it off with you. You know what I'm saying? If you broke yeah. it off with her, that's a different animal. But, you know, like if she broke it off with you, like, why should she care? You know, right. You yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I understand if she's texting him, though, I wonder what she's is she just texting him like, OK, Erica called in case you want to get back to her or is she texting him like what the fuck why are you doing this to me or is she texting you like That's harassment 
It's but, harassment. Yeah, it's it's. But you know how I know that you're not over your ex <laughs> because you do yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> show me how I show me how you know that you're not over. Show me how you know you're not over your ex mm-hmm. by not showing me. Yeah, whatever. I don't think yeah, yeah. <laughs> by showing me that you're not. I don't know. I don't. I, you I, almost I, nailed it. You you came really I almost close. Nailed it. Really close. I almost <laughs> nailed it. Like like I nailed this guy's ex. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. I didn't do that unless it was over 20 years ago. Then it's a possibility. Then it's a possibility. It is a possibility. <laughs> I was younger and cuter. So, you know, d- don't feel bad. Um, I Listen, man, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to say about this. I, I think that it's a little ridiculous. I think that it's kind of disgusting to give somebody, you know, the wrong number. If if you're not interested in somebody, you know, just be like, hey, look, you know, I, I'm I'm in a relationship or I'm you know, I'm speaking to somebody currently or whatever. Yeah. And, or I'm, and, I'm just not ready for one right now. I broke up with my girlfriend. It was really yeah. serious and I'm just not ready to like move on just yeah. yet. That's I think that's disgusting on the male side and the girl side. I've never given out a fake number. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just I would say no, you know, or I don't think I've ever given out a fake number. I can't. I mean, there was a lot of alcohol in my past, so it's possible (laughs) that I've given out a fake number, but I don't think that I have. I don't know. At the end of the day, I just think that um, I think that it's it's, you know, I think it's wrong. But again, that's just me. Um, So that being said, what do you call it? Uh, Yeah. Anything else to say about this one? No. No, I think we have some soul searching to do here, pal, because, uh, yeah, that's it's I don't feel like it's going to make your girlfriend want to come back to you. I think if anything, she's going to be like, oh, poor ex-boyfriend. He's a little kind of pathetic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. All right. So wait, did you just read or did I just read? I did. It's your turn. It's my turn. Oh, thank you. I appreciate this. (laughs) Uh, So this. This listener says, I tweeze my nipple hairs. I went on a first date with a guy forever ago. And when I took off my shirt, he pointed at a nipple hair and said, long. I was mortified. So now all nipple hairs are tweezed. First of all, I mean, obviously, you're a freaking moron. If 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 the guy that if you're about to get some and, you, you know, you see something and you make a comment about it, you know what I mean? There is a nonchalant way to, to you know, kind of especially if you're about to get some, you know, like yeah. you just oops, Maybe you, you know hold what I mean? That comment for later, <laughs> like and if it's freaking you out, steer clear of it. Like, I mean, seriously, man, it's a it's a, a body and people's bodies are all different. Ah. Things things happen and, you know, and, and, and things are there, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like, so if you're uncomfortable with it, you don't need to make somebody else feel uncomfortable with it. Hey, you know, I mean, maybe maybe you had some spinach in your teeth from dinner. You got some floss right there for you. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> that's so gross. Ill. Um, but, you know, especially saying things like that to women, women are so self-conscious. I mean, listen, men oh, yeah. are self-conscious about their bodies, too, and so forth. But women are very self-conscious about their bodies and their self-esteem. And, you know, and to do something like that, I don't know. I mean, would you consider that like narcissistic? To a certain extent, I don't know that I would consider it narcissistic. I consider it like rude, though. Like, what's the point of doing that? You know, I used to have a whisker on my face. Swear to God, whenever I was like seven years old, my mother reached up and like plucked this whisker out of my face, and it was super long. Like, it was like oh, a damn cat whisker. And I had that whisker grow back for years of my life. And so it, and I wouldn't like go looking for it, but every, you know, three or four months or so I'd be like, oh shit, my whisker. And I'd have to like pull it out of my face. And I was super self-conscious about this thing. I don't know if I like got it at the root one time or what, but I haven't had it grow back in years now, but still your bodies change with your hormones. Mm -hmm. And you know, like there we have hair on our bodies. That's just the way life is women, men, everybody, you got hair on your damn body. Shit's going to grow. Shit's going to change. Not something that I necessarily think that we should be feeling bad about. Right. Yeah. It's, it's an Instagram world. 
You know, it's an Instagram yeah. world where everybody wants to pretend that everything is perfect and everything is perfect. And everyone, you know, puts their bodies up, have to be perfect. And, you know, you see these these girls that, you know, they're they sit and, you know, put these pictures up and, and some of them might be very natural. Some of them might not be very natural. But, you know, it, it always makes it feel like, you know, wow, should I look like that? Or, should, you know what I mean? Or is that this yeah. is what the woman is supposed to look like? And. You know. Especially with all of the apps where you can like face tune yourself or like yeah. airbrush your thighs or, you know, stuff like that. Like we are living in a world that is putting us up to expectations of perfection when in reality, perfection doesn't exist. But we all feel imperfect. like this. Yeah. This like competition or like you know, oh, I have to be, I mean, I feel it too. I'm 40 and I'm like, oh my gosh, I, you know, the, whatever the, I have to get laser on my face so that my wrinkles aren't as apparent. And, you know, I actually said to my husband, I'm like, when does that stop? When do I get to stop giving a fuck about my crow's feet? (laughs) Because I am looking forward to that day. (laughs) Yeah. It's really, it's really scary, but you know what? It is what it is, you know? And, and I, I've said it before. It's like, you know, I, I'm not happy that, you know, I've got so much gray coming in on my face and, you know, mm-hmm. some of the wrinkles there. And it's funny. Cause when I, when I say, you know, or people ask, uh, you know, where I say how old I am, some people are like, what? No, you're not. You can't be that old. You look, you know, you look a lot younger. I was like, okay, mm-hmm. thanks. You know, but, um, and I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, you know, like, you know, I'm not happy with the grays or that I gained more weight and, you know, and you can see it in my face and here in my chest and, you know, like, so again, you know, like, um, but it is what it is. You got to love yourself. And mm-hmm. the fact is, is that I understand why this woman was mortified and I feel awful for her. Yeah. For that. However, don't, don't let anybody else freaking dull your shine, girl. Mm-hmm. You call it because that's just go, for, he can go F himself. And you know what I mean? If, if, uh, you know, if if something is is not right somewhere that that you feel is not right and you feel you need to handle it, then that's your prerogative. Yeah. Don't change yourself for anybody else. Um, mm-hmm. You're beautiful the way you are. So, yeah, that's that's all I have to say about that. I think I think that um, I think that's disgusting that anybody would do something like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Moly, moly, you. moly, moly. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> stupid people, stupid people. <sighs> um, anyway, what do you call it? Uh, the last one we got here. Our last one here says, my mother-in-law walked in on me giving my husband a blowjob and don't. said, don't mind me, just forgot my son hat while walking across the room, grabbing her hat, and then walking back across the room and going out the door. I was simultaneously impressed with her lack of reaction and mortified. <laughs> So now, I mean, my question is, did you still have him in your mouth while she's walking through the room and still continue? Or did you stop and like try to like not be seen doing what you were doing? Right. Like jumping up really quick or something. Yeah. I I mean, wow. Um, Okay. Uh, You take this first. (laughs) Oh, man. Yeah, that's uh, I, I think my reaction would be like if I was, I don't know, in the living room or something, it sounds like giving my husband a blowjob and somebody had walked in, I think I would definitely jump up and my face would immediately turn red. I don't think that there's any way that I am like finagling my way out of that situation. Um, I, but I don't know, maybe you have a really cool mother-in-law and she's just like, whoop, 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 just sorry. I'm just going to cover my eyes real quick. I'm going to grab my hat. I'm going to go back outside. <laughs> Enjoy. Like, oh, Finish you're up. Taking, you're taking care of my boy. It's okay. Oh, wait, hold on a second, sweetheart. I see that you missed the spot. Here, let me show you the right way to do it. He likes it like this. Okay. Um, nope. That would be, nope. that would that, be a little that's, bit. Um... That's nope. <laughs> Maybe if it was her mother, that would be okay. I mean, not okay. You know what I mean? It oh, would my still God. not be okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? It would not be okay. That is not on the okay. show too long. <laughs> oh my lord, that is not okay. Oh Holy my goodness. Shit. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh no. Um I think that's I think that's bizarre. Um, yeah, like I don't I, I don't you know what that reminds me of, kind of? You huh? know what it reminds me of? Um, what do you call for mean girls? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, the cool mom. Like the I'm cool not like mom. a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Yeah, I'm the cool yeah. mom. Well, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, do you want you want alcohol? Because I could totally put some alcohol in. I would prefer yeah. you to drink here. And then when she walks in on her, the daughter, you know, getting it on with 
the guy and she's like, oh, don't mind me, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, oh no. All right. What do you call it? Um, yeah, man. I, one, I, I don't know what I would do in that situation. There's um, no way I wouldn't have a reaction also if I walked in on my son getting a blowjob. Like th- there would be some embarrassment, probably some screaming, probably, you know, like I don't know that I would have zero reaction. Like, oh, let me just get my hat. I'll be out of your hair in a minute. Oh my God. What do you call it? So, so um, years ago, what do you call it? Um, when, when Danielle was still at school, when she was at college and, uh, you know, I was up, you know, visiting her and um, what do you call it? The, the roommate uh, she was not supposed to be back and uh, she was a weird person to begin with. Um, but what do you call, we purposely, you know, let her know, you know, on the door, like, you know, Hey, stay out, you mm-hmm. know, for right now, whatever. And, uh, what do you call it? And, uh, we were, we were, you know, kind of involved in the, in the bed and, uh, the girl walks in and like stops and she's just frozen and staring. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, close the door and get out you know like yeah seriously uh, 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 like have you not well maybe she hadn't seen anything i don't know if she's seen a uh you know you know that type of a thing before but you know <laughs> um i was just like uh, I, do you want to take a picture uh, you know like how long do you want to stand here yeah and, it's uh, a shocking thing to walk in and see so that's why i'm very intrigued by this mother-in-law that just kept it moving i like no yeah. shock whatsoever Ah, uh, it's weird. Very weird. She was Maybe peeking she... beforehand. She was peeping, toming that place beforehand. <laughs> but like, I mean, aren't you worried that you're going to see your son Schmeckle? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, like, I, you know, I, I'm a man and I don't want to see my son's thing. Uh-uh. I don't want to see my, my daughter's mm. things. Like, nope. you know, like my little one will sit there and walk around and be like, oh, you know, like uh, coming through. And I'm like, I don't want to see your naked butt. <laughs> Like, I don't want to see your your rear end. Put put your clothes on, you yeah. know, warn me, warn me so I can at least avert my eyes and, you know, and not look, you know, uh-huh. and just, like walk, walk with with her with her rear end. And then she shakes. Ha, ah, you know, <laughs> she's still young. You know what I mean? But she's at the 10? end, yeah, yeah, she's she's 11. She's going to be 12. Oh. You know, but so she's but, you know, like, um, you know, she has a top on or whatever. But then like, you know, so you see her going and I'm going what are you doing? You know, like yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to come over there and whack you in the rear end. And then you're not going to want, you're not going to be able to sit down for a week. Don't yeah. come through here like that. Um, but you know, kids are crazy, you know, at the end, but I don't want to see my, my listen after, you know, five, uh, you know what I mean? It, when, when uh, they're, they're out of diapers, they're walking around, they're doing their own thing. They really don't need you to help them get dressed as much anymore. Uh-huh. It's like five, six, you know what I mean? Like, maybe seven, you know, like I don't need to be involved. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, like I even, even like uh, with showers and everything. So the fact that, that this guy is a grown adult and the mother walked in, you know, like, right. Isn't that yeah, weird? It's a like, little weird. It's really weird. I mean, yeah. you're, do, do you, do you, you don't bathe your youngest anymore, right? Or do you? No, I do. Okay. Yeah. How, how old is the youngest again? Five. Five. That's right. Now I'm thinking the one that's around the age of Haley. Oh, well, so Jocelyn's seven though. So she's, she's quite, she's a few years younger than so five Haley. and seven, right. Yeah. Five and seven are the youngest. So yeah. But, but what do you call it? Um, it, it, at that's, at, but you're not bathing your, your children that are older. You know no. what I mean? Like, no, that and, would be very weird. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What's really fun. So my aunt, my aunt is Filipino. And I was like 12 or 13 and I was and and I was at my aunt and uncle's house and my aunt made me, you know, she was like, you need to, and she wasn't, it was nothing like gross or sexual at all. Right. Just, you need to get washed, you need to get clean, blah, 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 get in the tub and she's coming in. I, you know, and like with the, the to scrub me down, I'm like I could do it myself and I'm holding my jewels. I'm like, I could do it myself. I'm like, I'm get out. Old enough. <laughs> I, I, I remember, I remember that. I'm like, uh, she's like, you better do a good job. You don't need to stink. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know? Oh God. <laughs> I was told the other night when I did the, fo- I did another photo shoot the other night with like oh. 10 different photographers all in one. And, uh, 
what do you call it? I went from one to the next. I was told that that I am the best smelling model that they they've ever had. I was like, well, wow. thank you so much. That's I appreciate very that. Very nice. Have you Sauvage. heard of vabbing? What's a vab? Vabbing is this new TikTok thing that is going around where women are sticking their fingers in their vag and then wearing it as perfume. So they're like putting their vag juice on their wrists and behind their ears and on their neck because it is supposed to draw a partner with their pheromones. (laughs) That is just like, come on, man. Like women, you you, you don't. Why? Why? (laughs) Why? Just so that we have some more content to talk about on this show. (laughs) I mean, listen, that's great. But, you know, like, uh, is it really the attention you want? I mean, I don't know, man. That's yeah. weird. That's yeah. just weird. Listen, they want to do it. They do it. Go ahead. You know, like, I don't care what you do in your own life. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like, but just weird. Right. Very yeah. weird. I mean, you're hey. not going to find me wearing my vagina juice. No, saying. no, no. I, 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 I see the pillow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's I love two it. of them, but my kids stole the other one. Here you go. There we go. There we go. I love it. Yes. Yeah, see, I inspiration. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. What do you call it? Um, I think that's about it. That's all the time we have. I know you've got to go and take care of some pet stuff. So what Thank do you call you. it? Uh, I don't want to I don't want to keep you longer than we have to. Otherwise, we can go on <laughs> forever. You know how that works. But anyway, Dana, what do you call it? Uh, I guess uh, that's uh, about all the time we have. You want to tell them the first little rule of Dirty Little Secrets Club? Yeah, guys, the first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We love you. We appreciate you. Make sure you follow us on all social media if you're not already. And uh, we'll see you again next week. You think we want something from you? You got another thing coming.